Barracks. Baryonet Automation Controller. The Barracks Baryonet is a programmable, network-enabled automation controller that can be connected to a wide variety of devices and systems used in commercial, home, and industrial automation applications. This allows the devices and systems inputs and outputs to be monitored and controlled either locally by the Baryonet or by a remote master control system over an IP network. The Baryonet also allows for collection and transmission of data for analysis. In this video, we will review the Baryonet's basic configuration options. Like most Barracks devices, the Baryonet includes a built-in web server and comes preloaded with web pages that allow device configuration, as well as monitoring the status of inputs and controlling outputs. To access these web pages and configure the device, we need to know its IP address. Simply connect the device to the network, power it up, and then use the Barracks Discovery tool to find its IP address. If instructions are needed, see the Discovery Tool video on the Barracks AG YouTube channel. Once the IP address is known, open a browser on a networked local PC and enter the IP into the browser's address bar. The user interface, or UI, appears. This is the Baryonet UI homepage. It shows device status for the inputs and outputs and up to 8 of the 50 possible temperature sensor readings. Relay outputs can also be set to on or off from this page by clicking on them. Updated status is revealed upon the next page refresh. This page can be set to auto refresh every 2 or 4 seconds or to not refresh. Users can also create custom UI pages that display different information or use different layouts. The Baryonet is completely customizable to fit nearly any control or monitoring need. At the top of the page, under the Barracks logo, is a button to view the configuration pages. The Baryonet's built-in web pages allow for setting a wide variety of configuration options. There are eight settings tabs. The Network Settings tab allows setup of the Baryonet's IP address, NetMask, Gateway, and DNS server. The Serial Settings page allows setup of the configuration parameters for the serial interfaces. The Baryonet 50 has RS-232 and RS-485 configuration options, while the Baryonet 100 also includes options for the RS-422. As the inputs are fixed, the I.O. Settings page on the Baryonet 50 does not have any user configurable parameters. The Baryonet 100 does allow I.O. configuration. The control page sets a variety of parameters to control the behavior of various software interfaces, including the web interface, UDP interfaces, the ASCII TCP interface, and syslog. The SNMP page allows setup of SNMP traps to notify a remote host when an input state is changed. The time settings page allows configuration of a network time server to act as a time reference for the baryonet. A time zone can also be set for the device. The temperature settings page shows the unique hardware IDs of the first eight temperature sensors detected on the one-wire bus. Up to 50 temperature sensors can be supported by the baryonet, but the hardware IDs of only the first eight are displayed on this page. And the security page allows setup of a password that can be used to protect the configuration pages as well as any custom HTML pages installed on the device. By default, no password is required for access to the configuration pages. The Baryonet comes preloaded with a sample BCL application that supports two tunneling functions. First, it allows bidirectional tunneling of one Baryonet's serial data across the network to and from a second Baryonet serial port using TCP. The application also allows two Baryonet 100s or Baryonet 50s to tunnel one's inputs to another's outputs using UDP. 
The I.O. Tunnel application also supports connecting an external Barracks R6 relay expansion module to one or both baryonets via the RS-485 port. The application can be configured so that when an input on one baryonet goes active, an output or relay on the other baryonet goes active as well. The association between inputs on one baryonet and outputs on the opposite baryonet is completely configurable via the application setup screen. Local output action can be directed to specific relays or outputs. To learn more about the baryonet hardware and how to program the device, see the documentation on the Barracks website. A good starting point is the document, My First Day with BCL. The Barracks Baryonet is a highly flexible and reliable device that can provide both local and centralized control and monitoring. It enables industries to build low-cost, resilient infrastructure with local intelligence to monitor and control a local environment, while it also can send alerts to a central monitoring station so appropriate action can be taken. If specific monitoring or control needs are not met by standard Baryonet firmware, check bcl-applications.info for freely available custom software applications written for the baryonet. If there is no suitable existing application, or there is one that almost does what is needed, then the baryonets will require programming. Help is available in the baryonet user forum, or by contacting barracks to discuss the requirements. Upgrade your facilities today with the barracks baryonet. Be sure to view the related videos on the Barracks AG YouTube channel, Baryonet Applications, and Baryonet Hardware, along with many other useful videos. Welcome to a new dimension for monitoring and control with Barracks.